How's it going Rogues Gallery and welcome to another card game video here on Red Zone Rogue. Today we're going to be opening up a booster box of upside down, not actually upside down, legions realms at war and now if you haven't seen my video on this yet i highly recommend checking this out they sent me an amazing box of stuff and i was absolutely blown away at the time i hadn't played the game yet so i really wasn't sure if i liked the game or not but i've since spent about five hours playing the game and i think it's pretty fun uh, i think the starter decks might be a little unbalanced maybe i just got really unlucky but overall I think it's a really fun game. I've also since opened up a good number of the booster boxes that they sent me, but I do have at least three left over to open here on the channel. And I figured we are currently in the holiday season, we have a little bit of downtime, and so might as well record some stuff ahead of time just to have content for y'all out there. And so that's what this is gonna be. We're gonna open up some Legions, Realms at War. We'll talk about my opinions of the game as we open up the packs and um, just, just talk about the game in general. So, I'm actually really excited. There's some cards that I'm looking for, so hopefully they are in this box. Let's do it. Let's see what we can get. So here we have uh, rarities on the bottom here. So one star is common. You can see the art in these is quite good. So we have commons, two stars uncommon. Is a two star unified. Unified, think of them kind of like spells. They're just like effects or like one time effects or the ones that have this ACT, this activate thing, they kind of stick around. Um, so that that's what your uh, unified are. Fortified are kind of like trap cards from Yu-Gi-Oh. So you play them down and then you play them on your opponent's turn. Uh, three star cards, this is the rare. So we've got one rare, we have a token. I think every pack has a token. And then we have some common cards afterwards. Um, so yeah, unified, fortified, that's what those all mean. Uh, these are the uncommons. Okay, cool. Just wanna make sure these are on the right piles because I do wanna build some decks, like some actual like competitive decks. Um, well, constructed decks. I don't know how competitive they're gonna be, but constructed decks and uh, see how the game plays after that. I'm gonna play some more with the, with the starters, um, but, but yeah, so like I said, fortified, basically like trap cards. Yo, look at this miscut, dude. Whoa, look at that. Uh, that warrior is a little little shaved off the top. Uh, warrior cards are kind of like your uh, units, your minions, um, that kind of stuff. This this uh, angelic dagger looks sweet. We're gonna zoom in even more. Uh, that's, that is an uncommon. Uh, we have another uncommon. Uncommon warrior snake. This is our rare unified. Like I said, unifieds are kind of like your spell cards. Get your token. It's not double sided, just a single sided token. And then we have some more common cards. Um, I'm going to go through these fairly quickly, but the game feels uh, pretty good to play. Uh, it feels like a mashup of like Yu Gi Oh! and maybe a little bit of World of Warcraft card game or Magic or something. Um, so I think it's pretty fun to play. Uh, a lot of the cards feel very powerful, which is fun. Like some of the cards I'm, I read, like literally you can ask Ian who I played with and I'm just like, what? Like, what does that even do? I'm like, that's insane. Um, and there are a lot of cards like that. Uh, that's just like, I'm like, if this was printed in another card game, it would be absolutely busted. And it's like, just like fine in this game. So there's a lot of really powerful effects, which is, which is good. Like all the, all the effects are powerful. So. Like it feels, whoa, look at this miscut again. <laughs> oh, this box, dude. This is the miscut box. Um, this, look at this warrior, he's so miscut. Is this gonna be the commons? Yes, yeah, it's the section of commons. Oh, so interesting. So we have this uncommon. So, so far I really like the dwarves. Um, and I have a feeling I would like the titans as well. Um, and, and these guys, like the humans or the heroes or, I forget what they're called, but I think I'd really like them too. They're, their like ability once you unlock it later in the game is to basically refill your hand like draw up to your maximum hand size so it's like a draw eight <laughs> if you can get rid of stuff and the deck that i was playing against or playing with the demons i just like ran out of gas and i couldn't do anything and all the cards that i drew were like oh to play this card oh this might help 
Draw two cards and then eradicate two cards from your hand face up. Deal two, da two damage. Oh, see, this is kind of cool. That, that would have helped a little bit. But a lot of the cards that I, I drew were like, oh, in order to... In order to play this card, you have to discard a demon minion from your hand or whatever, or demon warrior. I'm like, I don't have a demon warrior. All I have are cards that make me discard demon warriors. And so I just couldn't do anything. And I drew just like, like draw, attack, steal your guy. There's a lot of, you know, stealing their guys, but it didn't matter because I was playing against the orcs and they just kept playing more guys and getting more from their bin and playing more dudes and like, I felt like I killed so many and stole, stole a lot, but in the end, it didn't even matter. I tried so hard. Um, yo, this five attack angel looks pretty cool. Ooh, backwards card. Okay, anytime we get a backwards card, it's always gonna be a foil. Let's see if I can feel the, the rays and see how many stars there are. Anyway, let's just see what it is. Oh, yes! Yes, we got her. This is uh, Meg Saria. Priestess of Lost Souls. You can kind of see some print lines on there, but this is uh, the guardian that I really wanted to get because this is the um, this is the undead guardian. So yeah, that's a big hit. That's a big hit. That rarity is about two per box, so they're pretty hard to get. But you can only have two of them in your deck if it's a card that can go in your deck. Um, but this is a guardian, so you only get one in your deck anyway. Um, and yeah, you start the game with it. It's a really it's a really nice card to have. I do kind of like how they do the rarity system a little bit. So it's, it's very close to Flesh and Blood, where, oh, look at these miscut cards. Wow. Wow. Um, <laughs> where like the, the five star cards, you can only have one of them in your deck. So they're really hard to pull, but, but when you do, um, it's really exciting, which, which is great. Uh, also uh, Slayer, um, but the the big downside of that is there's a ton of them in the set, right? And so in Flesh and Blood, there's maybe like five legendaries per set, maybe six or less. Uh, and this one, there's like a lot, a lot. So the odds of you, oh, look at the miscuts, man. The odds of you pulling like the one, like five star that you need is so low. It's so, so hard to get. So I don't dislike, like, you know, they're, they're hard to pull. They're only, by the way, the, the five stars, I think are one in four boxes. So it's about the same as a legendary for flesh and blood, but there's so many different ones. And um, I just, in general, I think they're just really, really hard to get. And they're really, really good. And like, so you're gonna need them to play like, you know, as optimal as possible. Of course, this is a new game. There's not a lot of people playing as optimal as possible, but you know, people will want to do that. That's just how people are. Um, look, at this, look at this drunk bard dwarf guy, man. Um, so yeah, personally, I'm not gonna be gunning for that exactly. I mean, it'd be cool if I, if I had them and it will help me like lean towards which uh, like realm I play. But honestly, like, I just want the guardian and the other like four star cards for that uh, for that region. Um, that's basically what I'm, gonna be, what I'm gonna be going for. If you open up like a several booster boxes, you're gonna end up with all of the rares and uncommons anyway. And you'll end up with a handful of the, the two stars. So um, yeah. So I think the one, the other ones that I really need is I need the Titan Synergy. That's the miscuts, man. The miscuts. I need the I need the Titan synergy. Uh, ooh. Ooh. All right. So here we have our second foil card. All right, we're gonna set this down. So I've only pulled I pulled two five star cards so far. I pulled Vampire Baby Doom. Yes, that's the name of the card. And I've pulled like a generic one. That's like really busted. And so I hope. This is either the Angel Guardian, which is the only one that I'm missing, or the, I believe I'm missing the, oh, what's it called? Let's just see what it is. Ooh, is this the Titan one? Oh, it's the Titan Synergy. Yo, I needed this. Pantheon of Unstoppable Power. Yo, let's go. These are the cards that I needed. Oh, I'm so glad I opened this box. 
I'm actually super glad. Um, nice, because I really want to build a good Titan deck. Um, I think dwarves are probably my first one that I build, but um, I, I have the dwarf stuff. I, I, I pulled the, the guardian and the synergy. The synergies and the guardians, uh, you start the game with them, so they're just really good to have. Also, this art is awesome on this card. Um, and so yeah, that, that's probably all we're gonna be getting for this box, by the way, um, in terms of like these foils. It's only about two per box, and that seems really consistent with um, all the other boxes that I've opened. And like I said, I've opened up most of the ones that they sent me so far um, because I just wanted to get a good good feel, get a good feel of how the, the packs are, beautiful art. I like this one too. I just wanted to get a good feel of how the, the packs are and you know the, the, the lore, the flavor of the game. And uh, I'll put these, in the, put these in the center because uh, I don't think we'll be getting any more. But yeah, I wanted to leave some boxes to open and talk about after I knew more about the game. And I now know more about the game. And I think it's pretty fun. Um, the rules can look complicated. Also, this looks like Fatal Frame. The, the rules can look complicated, but uh, that guy looks pretty cool too. Um, but they're not super complicated, especially if you are familiar with a lot of other card games. A lot of the things play like them. Um, just know that a lot of the effects are super powerful. So when you look at something and you're like, oh, that looks busted. Yeah, everything, <laughs> everything is busted. Uh, so even with the starter decks, uh, Ian and I had turns that were like 15 minutes long. Um, however, that's because we're noobs. I imagine if you're very like, you know, knowledgeable of your deck, they won't take that long, but still. Born of Blast Forge Fire. Yeah. So that's, that's that. Uh, once again, I'm very keen to play with the Titans. Um, I think my first initial impressions, I think I really like the dwarves because they like synergize and just keep plopping out more dwarves if you can kind of get the thing rolling. There's a lot of really powerful cards and synergies. Like I said, there's a lot in all of them. But um, the uh, the Titans look really sweet too. They're just all chonky, really be beefy. And the undead looks very unique. And also I pulled one of the five stars and so all I needed was this one to, to kind of round it out. I'll show you my big pulls, by the way, at the end of this video. I'll show you like all the, the sweet stuff that I've gotten. Uh, that way uh, we can, I can like kind of update you with where I am with this. Um, oh yeah, there's the chapter one. This is the Grim Grimoire chapter one. There's also a chapter two, I believe. Um, and I, I, do, I do like the art in the booster sets. Um, the, I think the art in the starter decks are just up to your, your own tastes. We'll put it that way. They're up, up to your own tastes. Um, I am personally looking forward to the Great Ale House. I mean, that does sound great, huh? I'm looking forward to seeing them, the starter decks uh, updated with this style art, just so it's all consistent. Because you have like the back of the card with this art, and then you have the, um, the champion or the warlord with their art and it looks you know all realistic and then you have like the very cartoony art on the uh uh which i'm gonna call it on the starter deck cards and it's just kind of jarring uh here we have this orc technoc token skelly man token and uh yeah so I i'm eager to like delve into things build some decks see see how that goes. Um, basically for deck construction, I just want to get all the, the, the guardians and the synergies so I can, you know, just build semi-optimal decks. Obviously you'll just end up with all the rares anyway, like I said. So why did I put that in that pile? That is a, that, that is a rare that goes in the rare pile. Um, sometimes when I do these, I lose track of what I'm doing and then I'll just end up with rares in like common, common piles. I've seen that for some of my stuff in like Flesh and Blood, I'll go through my bulk. And I was like, oh, there's a random rare in here. Hmm. Um, so, yes. Overall, I mean, this one looks like, uh, like Windows 95 <laughs> CGI. But overall, uh, I think the game is fun and I wanna play more of it. Um, ooh! 
We got a third one. Ho oh, ho 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 ho! That is the spice. Okay. That's the real spice. Okay, I'm gonna not see what that is. We'll wait till the end. Oh, we're gonna wait till the end on that one. Oh, now, now it gives me something really, really to look forward to. It could be a third four star, but in my experience, you really only ever end up with two per box. The only times you end up with three foils, and once again, I'm still fairly new to this. I've only opened up, well, they sent me like what, nine or 10 boxes and I've opened up all but three. So I've opened up like six or seven boxes. Um, uh, in, in the six or seven boxes, I found that two of these per box is 100% for me so far. And then um, you also have the chance to get a five star. And I think, I think we might've gotten a five star, uh, which is super exciting because it's basically like getting a legendary, like I said, in, in Flesh and Blood. Okay, this is our last pack and then we're gonna take a look at that. Oh, what, what, do, I hope, what do I hope it is? I hope it's either the Titan five star. Ooh. The Dwarven five star would be sweet too. So I'm, I'm hoping it's one of those. I'm hoping it's one of those. Um, that's, I, I, I like the art on that card, that's cool. Okay, so that's basically it for this pack. Uh, this is really pretty. Really, really pretty art in that angel. Um, I do say, I mean, I, I've been a little bit critical, but some of the art is absolutely fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Okay, so I think this is gonna five star. It might not be, it might just be another four star, but if it is, I'm still gonna be super happy. Let's see. <laughs> oh, it is a five star. Y'all, look at that, it's beautiful. Sacred blood magic. Uh, so this is kind of like the mystical ones. Target four mythical beast warriors you control. The targeted warriors gain immunity, unified, immunity, fortified. Uh, as long as they remain on the field. This is just permanently. They just get immune immune to traps and spells for the rest of the game. Okay. Yeah, uh, that seems good. Seems real good. Uh, these four, like once again, these five star cards. This is a fortified, so it's basically like a trap card. You can only have one of these in your deck. So it's a little self-balancing in that regard. So that, that's not too bad. But, uh, oh, uh, that's a spicy meatball. So I'm gonna stand up, wade through these plastic wrappers, and then show you the, uh, show you all the spice that I've pulled so far. And here is the other spice that we've pulled so far in all the boxes, plus the cards that were given to me. So I've kind of sorted these out by type. So the ones with the book symbol on here, these are ones that you can, they're like generics basically, you can put them in any deck. Um, and so we have two of these fortifieds and this one five star fortified. Also the cards do curl. The foils are like full foil, so they, they do curl. Um, so you just have to keep that in mind. Uh, these have just been kind of loose in my studio in, in my Dragon Shield Red Zone Rogue sleeves. So just keep that in mind, you might want to double, double sleeve. This card's busted. This five five star card is busted. So that's one of the five stars that I pulled so far. And I pulled this dupe. And then we have the guardian for the dwarves and then the synergy for the dwarves. So we have the guardian and the synergy, which is great. Um, each, when you start the game, you have one synergy, one guardian, uh, your realm, and then your um, champion in play. So getting the four star versions of these is really, really good. Then we have the uh, blue card, the heroes or whatever they're called. I only have the guardian. I don't have their synergy. So getting the synergy would be great. I have two of the orc ones, which is also pretty sweet. And I also have their synergy. So I can do orcs if I wanted to. Uh, these are the angels. I only have their synergy. Uh, this one is the undead. Uh, I have the five star or one of the five stars, vampire baby doom. I have their synergy and now I have the Guardian, so I have like a nice, nice full set there. For the Demons or um, Scorch, I have the Guardian and the Synergy, two of them, which is great. I'll probably trade these with someone who plays. Uh, for the Mystical Beasts, I have the Guardian and the Synergy. And now I also have a five star, so I might look to do, to do this one at some point. And then of course, I had the uh, Titan Guardian, which is gorgeous by the way. She's like beautiful but I didn't have the synergy, but now I do. 
So yeah, uh, very, 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 very happy with that. I think now the only ones I don't have, a, like both of them, I don't have for the blue, like I don't have the, the synergy and I don't have the angels. So those are the ones I'm gonna be looking for basically. Um, I have pulled now three five stars and uh, these are all of the the four stars that I have. Super glad I pulled this one though. Like so glad, cause this is the card that it, like kind of, not, I wouldn't say got me into the game, but when uh, the creator reached out to me about covering the game and wanting to send me some stuff, I went on the website and I saw this card and I was like, this card looks awesome. I'm in. <laughs> this is basically the card that sold me on the game. So uh, very, very happy with that. But like getting this, oh, oh good box. Uh, a good box. I would say that's a good box. So uh, yeah, and these are the other ones. Like I said, va Vampire Baby Doom. <laughs> Vampire Baby Doom. And then this one is just super busted. Super busted. So yeah, that is Legion's Realms at War. Um, I think you should try it if you can find it. The decks, the starter decks have way different art than these. Um, it's, well, watch my other video if you want to see what they look like. I was a little bit harsh on it because the art is very jarring compared to this. It's very like cartoony and um, it's, just just go just go watch the other video. Just, just go watch the other video. But let me know in the comments down below if you'd like to see more content on this. Um, I kind of want to do some gameplay, but at the same time, gameplay videos take so long to edit, to edit in all the cards. I might do a lazy gameplay video of this or maybe hire someone to, to edit it for me because I don't know if I have the time to edit like a, a, an hour long match of this and like all of the card pop-ups that would pop up for it because it would be a ton. So anyway, thank you for watching. Please let me know in the comments down below if you'd like to see more of this game. I just got to show off. Like some of the stuff looks absolutely brilliant. And if this is like their first set I and they keep this up and they keep like improving on it, I think it's just going to be a really, really fantastic looking game. It is out of Canada. Legions, Realms at War. Um, yeah. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.